How is curtain wall fabricated? Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we explain how stick fabrication takes place using one-piece tubular mullions, how screw spline fabrication works using two-piece split verticals, and how the steps associated with unitized fabrication can help to minimize labor in the field. Here's a section cut through a stick system showing the location of the shear blocks. You can see that they're attached to the sides of the verticals, then the head, the horizontal and the sill are slid over the shear blocks and attached through the face of the of the horizontal member into the shear block. <clears throat> Modular fabrication is built upon screw spline, the screw spline option. Here you can see the screw splines in the horizontal members that receive fasteners running from inside half of the vertical into the splines. So with screw spline, you have a split vertical that allows access to the interior of the vertical so you can run fasteners from inside the vertical into the screw splines. This saves you in a couple of labor steps and allows you to pre-build modules. Individual columns can be carried out to the job site or they can be combined into larger panels, as you can see here, and raised up and interlocked onto each other at the project site. With the unitized curtain wall system, the goal is to bring as much labor into the shop as possible, eliminating as much labor in the field as you can. Here you can see the sequence of a unitized curtain wall system. Step number one at the bottom shows a truck bringing pallets of pre-assembled modules to a project site. Step two, they're unloaded and staged for step four, where they are raised up and distributed along each floor. Step five shows a mobile landing platform receiving the uh, pallets of, mo of glazed modules at each floor. Step six is sequencing them out, spreading them along the floor. Seven is loading each of the modules onto rollers so they can be rolled out. Step eight is a crane grabbing the top of each module, pulling it out, and then just raising it up so it can be lowered and dropped onto an anchor. So you can see now going from a stick system where we're assembling piece by piece, part by part, component by component in the field, to a unitized system where we pre-built, pre-glazed modules. The goal here is to shift as much labor as we can from the field back into the shop. We have greater quality control, greater supervision, better work environment, cleaner conditions, and you can get more work done there in a controlled environment than in the field. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.